I remember something I said I was going to do last night. Anyway, today, let's see. We have of the unpopulated territories of the U.S. Baker's Baker Island. It is well that thing, um, and it's located. Oh yeah, the dot doesn't show up. I'm making it go far. Anyway, it is located in the Pacific Ocean. Um, there it is. As you can see, it's a little island. There appears to be like a lake with an island on it. Some grass. Not much else. Like literally, there's nothing. There, whatever that is, and it's located um, pretty in the southern Pacific Ocean. I think the nearest country to it's Tuvalu. <laughs> oh well, um, yeah, it's Hawaii is up there. America Samoa is down here. So it's not the southernmost point in the United States, but it's more southern than what usually is said to be the southernmost point in the United States, which is right here in Hawaii. So technically, this is further south than that, but still not the southernmost point. Anyway, it has a few houses that had at one point there's this building there's a bird there's a sign there's a bunch of hermit crabs that go into the lighthouse thing there's ruins there's more birds there's a tombstone there's that thing there's a picture of the island again so that that's one of then we got Howland Island. It is another small territory right here. Um, let's see, what else is on? It's surrounded by a reef up in the North Pacific Ocean. Hmm, interesting. Oh, well, apparently it's in the far away from the clear. Oh. Um, there's a wreck of a lighthouse on it. There's some fish. There's a old Ben lighthouse. A plane. Stone pathways. Plants, birds, other things. Um, it is located. Oops. No. Right here, and it's part of the Howe Island Natural Wildlife Refuge. Oh, it's only um 22 miles or 69 kilometers away from Baker's Island, further north, and still is more south than well, of course, Hawaii, which is usually considered. And the southernmost part of the United States, which is really just the southernmost part. Anyway, we have Jarvis Island, which is a desert island. Nothing really interesting about There's this pass of a tramway. So apparently, there's never been used. There's a boat. There's apparently some houses. There's people. And, yeah, it's a nature reserve. Small. It is a small, small little desert island. Like, really, if we located near Kiribati, Kiribati, long in Baker Island and Howell Island over here, well, Javis is over here. How this video has been long. And it's also... Let me see in Hawaii. 
Anyway. Yeah, there's there's the island. Then next we have Jason Atoll. Which has its on, own unofficial flag. Look, look at this thing. It is another island owned by the U.S. It's, yeah, there's a military base. There, there's different islands in it. Um, oh, they built, made it bigger. Yeah, it's a military base or something. Used to be. Yeah, there's rockets. There's and it's located. Also, there has never been a native population of any of these islands. There's where it is. These are uninhabited islands, always have been. It's near Hawaii. It's more closer to Hawaii than the other territories, but. And now it's kind of close to my way. <laughs> Then we have King's Men's Reef, which, as you can see there, um, yeah, it's not much. Yeah, there, there it is. There's the land. There's like a little red rope in a palm tree growing. It is located. right here and it's part of the night I like right it is north of Kirbas Kirbat south of the Jason Atoll and relative to Hawaii there uh, moving on to the next one wow this video is going longer than I thought it would be Midway Everyone knows about Midway. Yeah, military base. Blah, 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 blah. There. Famous for the Battle of Midway during World War II. Um, there's different islands. Sand Island, Eastern Island, Split... Uh, total... Uh, oh, wait. Uh, that, no, never mind. There's a monument... Uh, to the poopy, the... I don't know why, but there appears there's this monument to the bird. Yes, as you can see, these little birds are all over the place. Um, and if you go into Google Maps, I believe it's the only U.S. territory where you can go on Google Maps and look around. Yeah, the birds are all over the place. I mean, literally, there's birds all over the place. There's little things. Like hangers and buildings. Birds. Whole, just a whole lot of birds. But yeah, you can actually go look around on it on Google Maps. If you wanted to. Of course, Midway is part of the Midway Atoll Natural Wildlife Refuge. And most of these are just wildlife refuges, military bases. Um, there's the disputed Navis Island, which is in dispute with. Does it say here? Um, Oh yes, Haiti, is it? Yes, it is in dispute with Haiti over who owns the island. And it's not in the Pacific Ocean. There's also these ruins of a lighthouse keeper's quarters and there's the lighthouse. Um, it's an uninhabited island, like all these. No, National Wildlife Refuge. There it is. There, there be the island. There's how close it is to Haiti. See why Haiti wants to 
says it's theirs because it's so close. And yes, Haitians watching this claims you might think it's your, but right now technically it's in dispute, meaning technically, legally, it belongs to neither nation. Sort of. It's complicated, but whatever. I'm There's also this whole building. My king, I'm doing hate. <laughs> wow. Oh. Uh, you cannot go on Google Street View and look around the island. But yes, there's where it is in relation to Haiti, Cuba, and Jamaica. Then there's the Palmeria Atoll. Yes. It is, of course, it's, I believe it's a military base, or old military base, something. There's the island. Oh, yeah. Population, four. Dutchy Daddy and Trigoro 2. Netsings Sweeney and <laughs> Visiting Yachts. Elevation, six feet. <laughs> this is a small little island. It apparently was part of the Kingdom of Ah, so it has this former flag. It's not the flag anymore, apparently, but yeah, this used to be the flag of. Oh. Of course, it became part of the United States when um, we kind of took Hawaii. But yeah, there it is on the map. And in relation to other things, it's south of Hawaii. Hawaii is up there. But here's a kind of a Hawaii other islands. You know what we realize, compared to a lot of islands in like the Polynesia, Melanesia area, Hawaii is huge. <laughs> hmm. Then there's the Wake I then there's Wake Island. Wake Island, first thing, has a flag. Unofficially. No official official logo. Wikipedia is this a flag. A Wake Island. You can see it here. Yeah. It's kind of weird. Um, and it's located in the Pacific Ocean, part of the Wake Island Atoll Natural Wildlife Refuge. And it's all the way over here. <sighs> yeah. It is f far, far away. And there's a plaque. Spinning POWs. Guam thing. Oh, yeah. Military, of course. Then there's two disputed things with Colombia. Also with Jamaica and Nicaragua. With his Bravo Nuevo Bank right here, which are located in the Yeah, the Caribbean Caribbean Sea right there. And Colombia's right there. So of the Places claiming it, I mean, I think it's actually. Yeah! And you decide which clo closer Jamaica, Nicaragua, Colombia, or America. <laughs> hmm. Questions. 
Yes. Then there's another bank, the Sarv... whatever, however you pronounce that. Also in the Caspian Sea, also disputed. Well, it's, it's administered by Colombia, but this one is Honduras and Nicaragua this time. Yes. So, besides the five inhabited territories, those are all the territories of the United States of America. Claimed, owned, otherwise, of course, the 50 states. Yeah. So, and the bigger is of these islands is Baker Island with only 2.1 kilometers or zero. Wait a second. No, it's not. Big is you. This is alphabetical order, not big. Wait, wait a second. That doesn't make sense because that says 2.1, but that says 2.6. Jason or Tolls? Wait a second. Oh, I got it wrong. Okay, it's King's Kingman Reef at 18 square kilometers. Okay. And then the two disputed ones, if you want to include them, we got this Banks. At 350 square kilometers. And no, these never had, never native populations. Just, oh yes, the territorial members of Congress, American Samoas, Guams, North Marianas Islands, Puerto Rico, Virgin Islands, and these are the governors, with American Samoa, Guam, North Marianas Islands, Puerto Rico, and the Virgin Islands, and the just satellite images of the territories. Maps. And also the U.S. territorial waters. Yeah, the U.S. has a lot of territory. Extreme points in the United States. What is... Well... The southernmost point... That uh, isn't Antarctica. Because that really doesn't count. Is part of American Samoa. And it's the Ross Atoll. It's the southernmost point in all of the United States states controlled territory. Here's a satellite image. Here is of the of an island. And um up here it is. Yeah you can also go to Google Street View on here. Like this Walk around. I don't know why. I don't know who. But yeah, right here is literally the southernmost point of land in the United States of America. Let's go to satellite. Right here. Right along here. Right here, right here. Beyond that is well, Antarctica. Literally, we can't get any more south than here. There, there's a lot of birds in the sky. Why did Google send someone all the way out here to um 
take pictures and have a street view of literally somewhere you can't go. I don't know. And here, here's the, like the interior of the island. Like some trees. Seriously. Why did Google Street View come all the way out here? Why? This is officially Google Street View. That's a man, there's a lot of birds. Lord Noros, natural life, refuge, in other words, they, only people who are allowed here are basically, um, people in the natural parks and stuff. So yes, the southernmost territory in the United States of America. There, the location thing disappeared. There. And if it is actually not that far from American Samoa. Because there's the islands. There's American Samoa right there. But yeah, so technically, if we measure from the bottom of this atoll all the way up how my maps this is gonna be the grand for now all the way up to the true northern most point in the United States we get a distance of five hundred five thousand nine hundred and 63.65 miles, that is 9,597.56 kilometers. That is far. From the most northernest point in Alaska, all the way down here, To around Australia, there's French Polynesia over there. It's so far. It's insane. Anyway, there's other. Extreme points of the United States. But anyway, yeah, that's United States. Anyway, non populated territories. And how, and some extra, I guess.